Hello there, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reading now for the month of May. This is a brief introduction. I wanted to show you the deck I'll be using, the decks. This is uh, the Tarot of the Mona Lisa, and it is particular because it is based in part on the Rider Waite deck. But it differentiates, it's, it, it diverges in so many ways, and you'll see as I read them, I'll be showing you the cards. And I'll also be using the Vera Sibila deck that I love so much, and then our, I'll use the Neapolitan cards if I need them, and uh, the runes, the, uh, a set of onyx runes, heavy, heavy onyx runes that are really grounding. Well, let's get on with the show. Hi, Taurus, it's your turn. Let's see what the month of May holds in store for you. The thing, the really interesting thing about this deck is the way they allow themselves to be mixed, shuffled. They're great quality. Good stock, these cards. Beautiful, beautiful. May for the for Taurus. Month of May for Taurus. Let's see what's in store for you. Hmm. Let me show you the cards first of all. I have the Nine of Pentacles. The Moon card. The Ten of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Let me show you over that. Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, we have this Nine of Pentacles, and uh, the Nine of Pentacles is Venus in Virgo. Now, the Virgo period is um, the month of August to June. Uh, sorry, August to September. August 21st to September 20th. And this is what you're, you start with the question, all right? The month of May comes in and you ask yourself, well, when is the money coming in? When is the money coming in my way? And the, the card does answer uh, that it will be further on down the line in the Virgo period, actually. Um, the, what, what actions you take in relation to this question um, is the moon card. Now, the moon card is the card of Pisces, which we got out of recently, May, um, uh, February 21st to March 20th. And the action you take is uh, an emotional action, actually. You, you, you tend to... Things are riding high on the possibility of you receiving funds. Right. You're in a bind, and I feel that uh, we'll be looking at these cards, and I feel that a lot is riding on, a lot is at stake in terms of money coming your way. And the way, the environment, what you're living in, in the month of uh, May, what you are uh, experiencing is this Ten of Swords. You know that uh, it is the sun in Gemini, and... Um, the uh, what does that tell us well we are in the period of uh taurus right we'll, we'll be in the period of taurus after taurus comes gemini and in the month of gemini is when you have a lot of bills coming in right obviously this is a general reading but these messages are for someone um, and your the anxiety is setting in because of the something that is falling due in the period of Gemini, which is the uh, which is the period of let's see uh, uh, May twenty first to June twentieth. And so this is the anxiety that's going to surround you the month of May. Your emotional state is still very, very, in very good spirits because you feel like you have 
um, you're still giving, you're still generous, you still have that nature of being uh, generous. And interestingly, uh, Taurus, is that you have, I can remember recently that you started a new job, a new environment, and um, but all of a sudden something falls due. You have expenses. Maybe you, uh, you, you spent more than you should have, but what I'm seeing is there's half of you that just, you know, lets caution to the wind and still is your generous self, almost as if you know that things will work out well. You're absolutely sure they will work out because you feel that something is coming around again. There's this wind of change for you in the month of May where you feel like it's now or, not, or never before. I know what my worth, I know how much I make, I know in this new environment I did take a, a break, a cut in pay, but I have to make it uh, so in some way, um, in some way I'll be able, Taurus, you're saying to yourself, I'll be able to make ends meet the way I want to make ends meet, my standard of living, my lifestyle. Now, the um, what's uh, also uh, quite interesting are these two sixes. The six of pentacles here is the moon in Taurus. And this is your turn. This is your month. This is the period that, um, and by the way, happy birthday for those of you who have their birthdays in May. Um, this is the time when you know that you have the power, you feel, all right, you don't know, but you feel you have the power to respond to any difficulty that you have. And the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups is the Sun in Scorpio, where you believe that, well, it's not that you believe, all right, this is uh, uh, something that is coming your way, the month of Scorpio period, which is October 21st to November 20th, and how is, is that going to come down? It's going to be a washover, washing back. You're going to finally get, between these two sixes, an, an idea in, in, um, in the period we were talking about Taurus in that month, uh, the end of oh, April and, and May, you're going to get, uh, um, the light is going to shine over your head because you're, start, you're going to get an idea of how you can get a hobby that will make it possible for you to earn extra money. Whew, that was tough, just coming down as a watershed, all the water coming down and talking. Now, um, also this uh, Six of Cups, uh, is a card that's telling you, uh, 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 Taurus, that the winds of change will occur in the Scorpio period when you finally have an idea for your hobby, uh, you finally see that a couple of extra uh, bucks are coming in every month. And so this uh, spread seems to be talking about your uh, orientation and your harmonization. You're trying to get yourself settled and balanced in an economic uh, uh, in economic terms because you did go through this huge new change but now you want to get back to the style of living that you're used to like the job you like what you're doing you're absolutely in a very good um, way uh, um, it, 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 economically not as much as you would like but you feel like you have the power of abundance to to, of attraction. You feel like, like you can use that law of attraction to call abundance toward you. Very interesting. There is this um, hidden notion to, to the things that you do, not telling anyone, um, trying to experiment a little bit before you tell people left and right, oh, you know, I'm starting to sell things on eBay, or I'm, you know, I've, uh, I'm a representative for this company, and I thought that, right, this is not going to happen. You're going to be hiding it until you see that it is a good idea. Let me take a look at that hidden element indeed. Well, it is good. Omaggio di Preziosi, the gifts will be coming your way, actually. Omaggio di Preziosi, um, the gifts and la matrice, the female lover, could be a male, but it's not in terms of a person, I'm not seeing that, and riunione, the meeting. I'm seeing here that money is coming your way. Very, very propitious 
um, in, in your mind, it needs to be, um, the, need, the seeds not only need to be planted, but they need to be watered, they need to be kept, they need to be cured, they need to be um, uh, uh, given attention so that by the Scorpio period, you can, uh, they say in Italian, canta vittoria, you can, you chant victory actually, sing those victorious songs, those songs of victory. Now I'm going to look at this Ten of Swords here, this Ten of Swords, which is the environment that you're in that seems that um, you're not making enough money, you do like the job, but all right, what do I have here? You know it's something new, Bambino, the child. Uh, jealousy, it's jealousy, but I'm not seeing it as jealousy, I'm seeing it as a bit of sadness because of the loss in pay that you've had to accept, and here... Um, superbia, vanity, and it does hit right where, at your pride. And it is going to be that pride, Taurus friends, that is going to give, make you turn your your cuckoos, your brain, and, and put on that thinking cap and get those ideas for making some extra money in each month. Let's see what the runes can add here. All right, you have a very clear idea. And uh, when you have that clear idea, this is Keynote's Bright State. Keynote's, mm, barely see these runes today. Keynote's Bright State. You're going to take the bull by its horns, this idea of um, it planting the seeds, uh, tilling the soil, and bringing up those blossoming flowers in a very, very fine uh, manner. Because once it, you get the idea in May, and it's going to take you putting on your thinking cap, indeed, it's going to be. Uh, a matter of grappling and holding on and actually doing the work, but very, very methodically. Um, again, Ansu uh, Brightstave is telling me, you don't talk about this idea to anyone else, but you do go forward. You, you go forward in your own way without letting any other people know. Again, I have Rido Merkstave and Awad, Awad's Merkstave, they're both. Um, journey and grooms, these, you, you're there to stay in this new job. You really, really like it. But all the more so, you're going to need to, the watchword is Fehu Brightstave. Fehu Brightstave, <laughs> I'm trying to find the right light, it's not working. <laughs> right. Fehu Brightstave, that's saying, and A. Watts, you are um, uh, protected, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of economic um, uh, finance coming your way. Don't fret because you want everything now, especially money. You want it now. You want it fast. You want it uh, 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 quickly, yesterday. But what is important, and um, the rune need is telling me again, is the idea of you putting on your thinking cap. You put your thinking cap because it is the period that you were given, you were graced with a new uh, start, a new economic job, this is what I, you know, something new came along your way. Now it's time for you to give back to the universe by putting on your thinking cap and making another hobby for yourself, something that will give you the joy of counting little pennies and knowing that that's my baby. I did it. Now I have very interesting two runes here that are diagonally to each other, they have a connection diagonally, uh, Dieg and Ingvats, they both smack of success. They both smack of you planting the seeds, you tilling the soils, it coming up roses in the Scorpio period for you. Listen, Taurus, what I'm seeing here is the universe calling on you to give back, use your brain to create something that you like, and you are going to be successful. If you have the patience to wait for the Scorpio period when you're going to see the return. Whew. I hope this was of help to you, ladies and gentlemen, Scorpio. Sorry, it's not Scorpio. <laughs> Taurus, ladies and gentlemen, Scorpio. <laughs> Again, I'm thinking of the Scorpio period when the dollar signs are coming your way. Thank you for joining me, Taurus friends. And also, thank you, my um, uh, old subscribers, for sticking with me. I really appreciate your support. New subscribers, welcome to my channel until we read together again. Bye-bye.